But we have just a little bit more to do. A couple small things, super small things. So this game does have a couple cheats, mostly just for unlocking stuff. But they're actually two cheat-only things. We'll enter those right now. Which one do we want to enter? Okay. There you go. That sound confirms we did it. So I'm going to quick race. Oh, you can play as Grease Lightning. I don't know why it's always selected here. But, uh, whatever. So notice now, this says cheat on it. As does... Super Tuned. What's this do? Let's just show what it does. Where are we going to be? Doesn't really matter. But just to show that these cars exist. I believe they're just alternate textures. I've barely seen a hint of this one, of the one that goes over Slingshot. It's called, I believe, Kurt's Spy Car. I guess it's a reference in some way to the show, or not show, film or whatever. It's just an alternate texture on Slingshot. I don't know if it changes like all of its mid-air textures or not, or what. But it's <laughs> from our perspective, it's not much different than the texture stuff that I do. You know, so it's just a much less detailed slingshot that's black and red instead. Basically, so you have to see much of anything. Bring the one playing as a car. And one more thing to show. The more notable one, the one that anybody who knows about this has definitely been waiting for, I imagine. We also have Super Tune Car. What does Super Tune become? Well, you may remember this game's opening music. For some reason, they decided to let a car be inspired by this. I haven't seen this car, mind you. I don't know what it's going to look like. But the very concept of it is interesting. This is... The Smash Mouth car. <laughs> what have we done to your car, Gearhead? We have vandalized it. Yeah, there you go. Maybe it has textures and all, uh, all textures of all sorts. I'm curious what the um, I should have done this with the slingshot retexture too. Here's what it looks like if you set these on fire. You get boost mode. Let me and see real quick. This episode's gonna, uh, probably already going over time, but that's not a problem. I never mind. Final episode of a playthrough. Running along. I'll probably talk about all the crazy stuff that went into this playthrough after this. Man, not being able to turn is the worst. see what Smash Mouth on Fire looks like. Jeez, that turning! <sighs> Darn Valentine or whatever her name is. Go away. This never really got much in this playthrough for some reason. It wouldn't be a bad idea to retexture Ballistic though, no, I think about it so it's like it did in... in... Soundtrack Challenge, but for some reason I never did that. Yeah, well, there you go. There they are. It's gonna be hard to lo look at this car without playing this race and looking at the replay, so let's just do that. So this is actually the race I don't always go on, the track I always go on, because one, it's so short, and two, and actually it's also pretty easy to get boost mode and whatnot, but two, it's so... It's just the first course to select so it's easier and quicker to go through the menus. But this is the track I'd always be on when I was testing text tracks and the like. It's fun to get a certain car to appear to replace its texture. If I want to test that text track, whatever. So this is a track I know most by heart. And it's a really simple track anyways. Like I've said before, I think people complain about oftentimes about it being pretty boring. 
despite the fact that it actually has jumps unlike Satellite City. So I managed to be more boring than the, than the one drag that doesn't have any jumps. Which is, in a strange way, impressive. Anyways. Whoa, how did I do that? Good job. Anyways, let's get a better look. So you can see, ah, see the rest of the car. It is really annoying, though, that you can't... It also helps that this race is short, because that means I can also restart to see replays, or complete it to then see replay relatively easily. It's still pretty hard to look at cars' textures. It's hard to get a good, close look at cars in this game in general, unless you're doing... Unless you complete a tournament, that's really the one thing. But I can complete a whole tournament just to look at a texture hack, so... Yeah, I can't see the side of this car, for instance, because the cameras aren't close enough. But whenever you're driving the car, the camera is always fixed on your car, unless you're actually in the air, or uh, you're on, unless you're not on the ground, basically. That's a Smash Mouth car. A strange, strange thing. I'm hoping that cheat doesn't last like permanently. I expect it doesn't. There are also cheats to unlock all the tracks and all the cars, but. I don't think you can actually unlock all the cars without unlocking the Smash Mouth cars and whatnot, so you can't avoid having cheat on your file. Or at least... Temporarily, I'm guessing it goes away if you restart the game or something. Anyways, though, it's a gallery. We did get everything! Look at that. I was tempted, I imagine I could go into this game's files. And by files, I mean... I could... Um... Well, use the same method I used to replace textures in this game. To replace slingshots texture somehow. Or this picture right here. I'm 100% sure I could. The thing is, this picture is probably in multiple pieces. And it's like put together. So that'd probably be kind of annoying to do. But it'll be interesting making this goalie or something. But it's fine. I just didn't get the idea until this morning. And well, recording this is the first thing I'm doing this morning. Yeah. There's Road Rocket. I didn't see Richard Mind Storm that much in this game for some reason. Will we see him again? I don't know if we see him much again. He might have to be in a different car if we do. We're not done yet, though, with Hot Wheels stuff. We're done with beating that, because we beat that. We'll see how it comes, becomes Grease Lightning, too. There are a few games I want to... You never got to play as this car. Actually, that's one thing I should do. This car's never get to play as. Let's unlock those cars real quick. to see. So now we have Prototype 12, which I get to play as. Let's do that briefly. I'm not going to have the texture replaced on this one because I've never played as a car, so I never was able to replace its playable texture. But we'll also take a look at Power Rocket, which we just never got to see in this game, which is a little weird. Here's Otto, though. Invert. It's nice to finally see him. And Zodic. Should probably have Zodic no longer under the influence of that now that I think about it, but I don't worry about that right now. Sweet 16. I'm kind of happy Sweet 16 didn't appear much because it's probably my least favorite car in this game by decent margin. I don't much care for Aeroflash either. I just don't find them interesting in much of any capacity, and we never kept any kind of lore stuff from him either. Probably just get into boost mode with this car and then go from there. Not much in the way of special stuff for this car though. One thing that's kind of nice about playing as uh, Street Breed is that their button prompts for the air, the second button, I'm pretty sure, is always A. So it's, you only have to pay attention to the first button. Yeah, it's nice. There you go. There's that. Otto. Finally getting to see him. Never did join our cause, but that's how Otto is, I suppose. We'll see if we see him again at a later date. And then... The one other one. What team are they even on? There you go. Oh, I wish track was actually. I probably could have played as Auto on Ice City, but whatever. I'll play as Power Rocket here, where it would be unlocked. 
it's, it probably is theoretically possible to pick up all the pickups here on this track actually by like leapfrogging somebody on the jump having, either having them push you forwards or bouncing off the top of them if you're behind them but there's no way I'm going to try to do that to get all the pickups here well, this car just looks weird from, the, from behind it's a very distinct looking car so that's probably why I was kind of disappointed not to play as it just how much can it rock it rock it hard zoom Very much a rocket. Now, let me call to play it. See this car. I would have replaced its texture with the texture from Velocity Axe as well. Of Otto's goons. I guess they just were a no show. Otto just. At first, kind of claimed that they hadn't shown up for no apparent reason. Probably not knowing, but actually, it turns out that he just kind of probably ordered them to not come or something. To not help us or whatever. Burn! Ah, oh, burn. Burn's another car that I don't think we're going to see much of again either, which makes me sad because it would be nice. Although it's not going to have a lot of space races again either. This car does control kind of weird, actually. It's a little floaty, a little like um, Grease Lightning. I doubt it's as glitchy as Grease Lightning. It hasn't felt glitchy like Grease Lightning at least. Alex! I do expect we'll see Alex again though, so. Like I'm saying. I was saying. Never! Ha ha! I mean, these guys are belligerent. <laughs> That's exactly the sort of thing they would do. Jeez. Poor burn. But, so, to talk about what's gone on here. It's not done yet. I still have some games left to play. I'd want to revisit some old games too, do some challenge stuff, just well, largely as an excuse to get to like, see these characters again and do stuff with them, but at the same time, it also has to be cool to do that for the sake of well, I'm trying to fit some story stuff into it too, I guess is what I was trying to say. We're not done, but if we do anything again, I don't know why I say if, because we will, we'll have some different story arcs. Uh, they won't, I don't expect anything to be as big as this game was, or as, well yeah, this game individually, uh, for one, but as big as World Race turned out, or the beat that arc turned out to be. I still can't imagine that some of my favorite memories forged on YouTube were a result of one dumb joke I made and couldn't stop making about one game's title, but here we are, so, environment team. But regardless, I feel like... Even though, let's say this is the end of the first season, and it's everything else is right, you're just going to be probably like a spin off of this. Uh, there's really going to be one final last hurrah when I'm actually done with everything, because I have that planned. But that'll be a long while from now. Right now, I'm just going to have some different stuff with. I don't know, we'll probably have at least some small number of new characters, but. We're probably going to mostly work with things you've established. Lower stakes, probably, but different ideas and conflicts. At least one. I don't know if... Probably not going to have one, actually. But I have something in mind for that, so... I hope you guys look forward to it. And you guys enjoy it nearly as much as I enjoyed playing this one game. I never did anything like this in anything on YouTube, or anywhere anywhere in general, really. This weird putting together story thing, and with the collaboration that involved, too. I do believe that only one person actually really ended up contributing to the story and universe that happened to any of the characters. Although, I do, of course, recognize that they were the only person to comment on these videos in general, and I very much appreciate what they did. But, many thanks to Riker for all the support through all of this, and the ideas that were put forward. I would always look forward to each day, every weekday, getting a comment in the morning. It was always nice on these videos. I always enjoyed it. So, many thanks for that. I usually don't name specific people in my videos just to avoid seeing like I'm playing favorites or anything, but in this case it's definitely being earned. So, that having been said, I don't think I want to spoil what we're going to do next, but at least for a brief moment, the next game at least is going to be a little bit more... it's going to be relaxed. I also don't know if these credits ever end, they probably loop, so I'm just going to run on for a while. But on that, until I at least see bits looped or notice, or maybe I'll just talk for a long time then, and then should leave. So, 
Yeah, so I'll be playing mostly older games from now on, though. We're pretty much out of the newer Hot Wheels games, I'm pretty sure. That shouldn't be a bad thing. We will have different cars because of that, and that's probably why we won't see some of these individuals we've been seeing lately. Although, there will be some cases where I just say, okay, this car is, like we've always done, that some car is some car we've seen before. We'll just kind of ignore the fact that they're literally in different cars. Sometimes it'll be cut because of the driver, but other times, since you want to identify some cars as cars, like how we identify, for instance, Merzel and Tetrad as their cars, like, uh, what was it? You identify 16 Angels as 16 Angels, Governor as Governor, etc. We'll just have to make things up as we go with that. But regardless, I have plans. I actually do have every game from here on out planned out. Not the actual story for everything. I just have a basic concept for that. But I think it'll be nice and be fun. Things will change a little bit going back to some older games. And we're not totally done with all the newer games necessarily. I probably won't play this game again. Because I don't know what else I would do. But I'll have some challenge playthroughs and things like that, I think. Or at least individual challenges in some games, maybe. Things of that nature. How I'll organize those in a playlist one, I don't know, but we'll see. I will say though, this is I never there's been a large number of things on this channel I've spent like tons of time on and put tons of work into, but man, the hours I put into the, this game, putting together the textures. Ooh, voice structure Tesla. Putting together textures for the cars. Oh the wax. And at one point the levels for this last this last tournament jeez <laughs> like that takes more work than you might think having to actually specifically look at look through all the game sections to see what's what and try to figure out what does what try to figure out how to make those tracks invisible deciding like the rate at which trying to make things escalate slowly kind of that sort of thing you know what make the place in different textures will cause to happen and it was cool in the end I think it was actually kind of fun that was a nice final challenge. So I hope you guys found that interesting too. The good thing I think about the fact the way that I did it was making everything a black void, it wasn't gonna be eye bleeding like it could have been otherwise if I replaced everything with other random colors or something or made it look more corrupted instead of a void. But So I don't know if the absolute last we see of that, but it's something close to it. Will we ever find any kind of reconciliation between that and the Golden Tetrad? Who knows? I legitimately don't know myself, in fact. But we'll find out later. So there's an environment team. We've done it. We finished. We've looped. So I'll see you guys next time. The next playthrough. The next Hot Wheels playthrough. The next Hot Wheels game. Whatever it may be. I know what it will be actually. I'm not going to say it just yet. Where, for just a little bit, at least what I expect will happen is we'll just relax and have fun. Because we've always had a lot of fun. But we need to focus on it a little bit more now after all the dramatic stuff that's gone on here, I think. And then we can let things escalate from there. In any case, thank you everybody for watching. I've enjoyed this so, so, so much. I hope you'll continue watching me into the other adventures we have. If not, still your patronage is appreciated for this series as well. I know this is a game that a lot of people look forward to, and I looked forward to it too. And it was very... It delivered wholly. There weren't... There aren't many Hot Wheels games. I can really probably only name two that I think are actually good. This is one of those two. The other one being Star Trek Challenge. And I've had fun with other games. And this game is a game that's actually both fun and good. We can see Alex go along. Hey, Alex. Cars that we recognize. We'll have Otto's goons, or well, Belcher's goons, I guess. Also saw, I think, 40 something it was. And Drifting Round Storm. Wonderful. But things have dried on long enough. Goodbye, guys. See you next time.